here we've got um, a Thalo blue with a green shade, quinacridone red, and a Hansa yellow, which is the light version. Um, ideally, to get a real, the blackest black, you could use a Hansa yellow medium, but this will get us pretty close. So you can mix these in any any way you want, really, but I'm just going to do it mixing with the Thalo blue and the quinacridone red first. So this is a very strong tinter, so we're not going to need as much. So this is the, the Mars black, just so you can see them next to each other in comparison. So this is slightly darker, I mean this is you know slightly bluer so I could add you know a touch more of the red and a little touch more of the yellow. This version you see it's a very blue undertone in comparison to the pre-mixed black. Another way to make a chromatic black, that is a black that doesn't contain any of the PB, you know, black pigment in it, is to use um, a Tharlo green and a quinacridone red. Um, Gamlin, uh, the paint manufacturers, make uh, an actual black pre-mixed with these together, which can be very handy for tinting colours down because it's got quite a neutral tone to it. Um, the only problem with it is, is because you're using a Tharlo green and a quinacridone red, which are both very transparent pigments. If you look, say, there at the quinacridone, you see how transparent it is. Um, it's good for tinting colours down, but not necessarily good for coverage. If you look at the Mars Black, it's very, very opaque, very good for covering things. So you've just got to pick the right black for the right part of your painting or to decide what you're actually trying to achieve with the painting.